Now, what is key influencer? We have a lot of metrics in our business. For example, we have profit, we have sales, we have units sold, we have things like success, not successful. We may have things like completed, not completed. So what key influencer helps us to understand is for a matrix to work, what are the variables which contribute towards it? A simple example, if I say I want to increase the profit. Now to improve the profit or for the profit to increase, what are the main variables that need to be met in order to increase it? So these kind of complex studies that are going on, what is going on in the back end of your Power BI, statistical models are running for you on the data that you're providing. And based on that, our outcomes are coming. So, you know, when I was taking one of the corporate trainings and I, you know, spoke about the key influencer and decomposition tree to that, um, you know, client of ours, you wouldn't believe he said, I wish I knew this earlier because it would have saved me one month of my time. So what key influencer did, us, did for us for it within five minutes, the guy had spent one month on it. So this is how powerful these visuals are. So what happens under key influencer, why it is important? It identifies the significant drivers. Like I was saying, I want to increase my profit. So to increase my profit, what are the drivers that have to be taken care of in order to meet my outcome? So it helps us to identify significant drivers, reveal the connection between variables. So if I'm saying, if I'm going to increase the cost if I'm going to increase the sales price by, let's say, 5%, that results in 20% increases my profit. So that kind of connection in the variables is understood using key influencer. So it helps us to make decision and optimize our process. So examples are, for example, in retail, we are trying to figure out in order to do a good promotion, ultimately resulting in more profit, what are the driving factors of the sales. In case of healthcare, for my patient to have a positive outcome, what are the factors that is driving it? Is it a age? Is it a ethnicity? Is it uh, the stage where it was caught? Is it the gender? So what is the driver which is working in the favor of a positive outcome? Is it clear why we need key influencer? See, whenever you're learning anything, any tool, any topic, it's very, very important for us to understand that when and why we will use a certain thing. Because if we don't know that, then it will become difficult to remember when to use it, right? So this is used to find who are the drivers. What is going to help me to get the outcome I want? So let's try to do it in Power BI. So in Power BI, once you've loaded on the right hand side, you can see the entire data set is kept. Whatever data you had given is kept over here. So if I want to create a visual in Power BI, we will go to visual gallery on the top under home tab. Then we scroll down. And over here we have the AI visual. We'll start with the first one, which is key, key influencer. So once we drop it, let's see one thing. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. All right. Okay. So I've already done one on this data. So I wanted to understand what influences the profit to increase. So what influences the profit to increase? It's giving me the output. If the discount is more than 33,000, then the average profit increases by about 42,000. And if the unit sold is more than 547 units, then my profit is going to be increasing by average profit increases by about 22,000, right? So how do we get this thing? So once I click on the visual, what it will ask you to do it when you click on this particular symbol on the right side, which says build a visual, over here, you have to drop the fields for analyze, explain by, and expand by. 
So analyze is what? Analyze is the outcome for which you are trying to find the drivers. So my num in my case, I had taken the outcome as profit. So once I draw profit and analyze, automatically it has become over here, what influences profit to increase? Or I can do a reverse thing. I could have also said, what influences the profit to decrease? Right? So first thing is analyze. What are you trying to analyze? Is it like a success of a particular project? Like yes or no? Are you trying to analyze things like what drives the profit? What will drive the sale? And then we drop in explain by any field by which we want to see whether it has an effect or not. So it's not necessary in the beginning. You guys will know exactly these fields are going to have an effect on it. So in my opinion, if anything does not, if the data is good and there's no column, which is little, uh, you know, going to have an outlier data, then try to put all possible columns over here. So I'll put discount band. I will put the discount type. I will put the price, unit price. I want to put the unit cost. Anything else you can think of? And I can't have a sum of discount and units and all those things. So I'm just going to make it an average. Anything else you can think of in this data that you think will, uh, you know, kind of affect the profit, help in increase or decrease in the profit? I think if I reduce the cost, I increase the profit. If I increase the price, I increase my profit. And discount also has a lot to do on the profit. So that's the reason I've picked these values over here. Unit sold, absolutely correct. Unit sold, if I'm selling more units, is that giving me more profit or what's going on? Again, I would do an average on top of it. Once we do this, let's see, it's running analysis on top. And it says, what influences profit to increase if I have a discount type of more than 33,000? And the cost, average of the cost goes up by a certain amount. Okay, then only I can see this. So cost and the discount type is the main driver. Even though uh, price is there, even though the discount band is there, but these have no effect on the increase in the profit. Mm -hmm.